Welcome back, everybody. Last time we uh, came back to Nomara and Kakanis, Admiral Douchebag, decided he was going to try to kill the Queen. It's Wolf of Holland. And here we got some heavy artillery. So, basically, they're mechanical. Use mechanical rings, but you want to take out. So, what the support tanks do is they will suck energy away from your character MP and then give it to the tank Econis's heavy tank and cannon. But what you want to do is you want to take out tank B. Because he's the one that supplies power to the cannon and the cannon is the one that does massive multi-damage attack. So you want to take out that one right away. Zephyr. Keep in mind they steal all the magic from your uh, MP obviously. If they steal it from your healing characters. Pretty screw all the way. Why do they steal it from Toad? See they fill it up right away. So this is gonna hurt and it will probably pretty much dwindle my entire party's HP. Thousand points of freaking damage. Colton almost got taken out one hit. You know, I think they seriously programmed this game to purposely target certain characters when like their HP is low and stuff like that. The game kinda seems to think like you do. And don't quit casting heal. You've done that right, press the right button and accidentally. Cancel the heal that healing command. Come on, get a goddamn perfect. Now they have their own set of uh, tank in charge. God damn it! Well, at least Sarah's gonna heal everybody up here a little bit. But uh, I think Tolton's pretty much dead. This battle can be very easy or very difficult. For now I'm gonna leave Tolton... well, I don't know. Yeah, ouch. See, the tank hit, even fully charged, does not do that much damage. I'm fine with the, as long as that damn frickin' that one is taken out. I don't care. Cause the tank hit is... Dude, shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. Stop frickin' talking, you asshole. I missed that one. You see, he's only gonna fill up the tank, so that's fine with me, because the tank does very little damage. He'll still do the Vulcan Cannon, it just won't be as effective. See, he's only doing like 100 points of damage rather than friggin' uh, 1000. Perfect. I love that word. Not that we well, good, I guess it's okay, but catch up. Well, like I said, I'd rather deal with the uh, tank single hit versus the cannon multi hit. Everything should go nice and smooth from here. Hopefully. We shall see. How that hurt. Oh, 
not that much for a thousand year old queen, I'll tell you that. Come on, come on, boys, get him. By the way, this is the last time you fight. Honest, I think you fight him like three times. At least you deal with him maybe two or three times, I don't know. Sorry if I'm not talking much, I'm a bit. DPS. Alright, I think I'm gonna start bringing up the magic, because once you get those two things, the tank is easy as pumpkin pie. Oh, Tolton doesn't have power up upon, that's why. There we go. They have to tank the cannon and the tank. Two separate ones. It's just whittling his HP down, that's all that that's all this fight is. It's nothing amazing. Yeah, it's almost dead. Come on. I should, should press the freaking ring button, but oh well. We'll go out of bed again, anyways. Damn, look at that. 2300. Haven't you seen the state of the world? With pacifism as our only policy, we will never be perceived as equal to other nations. In truth, the day is coming soon when we will be forced to capitulate. Yes. I realized after seeing the world that sometimes power is needed. But General, the power you see is power only for yourself. That is why it is weak. What a waste of time. Yeah, it was a waste of frickin' time. And we get a new rifle for... Damn. And we get a new... No. The new rifle for uh, Sed. Like I said, it's a shame Sed doesn't use the axe on the front end of the sword, that of the gun. That would be pretty cool. But he just fires it. I'd put him in the front row. All he does is fire the gun either way. But it would be pretty cool if he did a melee attack in the front row. A versatile uh, character. That would be pretty cool. So we've saved him around. He must be happy. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Maya. Oh god, it's a dwarf. You're safe. It's freaking Yoda. That is freaky. I'm so sorry we failed to anticipate Kakana's scheme. Damn, I it's don't not oh. your fault. I was too lenient with him by far. You should have punished him more. Oh my god, it's front view. I'm sorry, oh god. I afforded him the opportunity to run unchecked, and for that, the responsibility is mine. Don't blame yourself. He's right. I mean, that general that is creepy. Is twisted. And yet, Just like as tall as the kids. Is another of Gungora's many victims. Yeah, he does really well by himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a little overdramatic. Your Majesty, may I know the names of your companions? Oh, yes. You shrink when you get older. She's got to be like over 100. I haven't introduced you. These are my loyal ladies in waiting. Maya here is my chief lady in waiting. That has got to be the most useless job in Namara. Seriously. Maya, these people have become my dear friends and should be treated with the greatest courtesy. We are all working for a common goal, and we have an urgent mission to complete. You tell him. A mission? And what of Numara, your majesty? Huh? 
Your Majesty. Until I carry out this mission, I shall have to be away from my people. During that time, I shall entrust Numara to the care of my ladies. I guess not such a useless job after all. To us, Your Majesty? Please do as I would. As you have been closest to me, I believe you are capable of what I ask. I shall return as swiftly as possible. Yes, my queen. While your majesty is away, we shall protect Numara. We shall not fail. So Ming is coming with us, thank god. Because I would hate to lose another immortal. And she's got a nice rack too. And Ming gets the Queen's Loneliness. This is Ming's dream. She only gets the one. I think uh, I have to look it up, but I think Sarah gets one too. So at least all the mortals have at least one dream. I don't remember them. I don't read them. I'm not a reader. It's too bad they didn't have voice acting. Or if they released a CD that you did have voice acting. The white boa? Ooh. If it's a ship you need, sounds we have sexy. The to get through the ice fields, we'll need a ship that can break the ice with its hull, and the white boa can do that. Hmm. Yeah, it's true. The Nautilus doesn't have as much strength. She probably be no match against the ice. I guess she wouldn't be right for this one. Oh, I meant no insult to the Nautilus. She has shown unmatched maneuverability. <laughs> and we Damn shall have need of her again. Please, lend us your help when we need it. Yeah, now, this sure. is a nice Leave ship. It's a sweet ship, man. We should be able to berth the Nautilus inside the White Boa. That way we could use either ship when needed. That's true. That I is awesome. I will go ahead of you to the harbor to give instructions for our departure. Ming. What is it? Will you go back? Not to our world, but to your country. <laughs> yeah. For once, Jensen is speechless. You must choose at some point. That's the power of love. A thousand years is a long time. There are many important things to be done in this world. You know, they technically might be immortal, but maybe they're only immortal. For up to a thousand years. Well, you do. Maybe their body deteriorates after a thousand years. Hmm. All right, well, I'm gonna get some treasure here. Quickly get some treasure. A wonderful seed. And I believe right here. Get in here. Can I, can I open the door? Holy crap. Hey, look, I can make the uh, lettering move around. Can I make it zoom in? Oh, cool, I can make it zoom in. Loud bells, that's what you are. You're loud bells. Oh, that's what those are. Anyways, alright, folks, I'm done wasting your time. In the next episode, we shall probably do a few smaller side quests, and then maybe we'll continue the journey. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good day. Bye.